time brought its revenges, and for the wrongdoing of existence, all things paid the penalty of death. Anaximander. Anaximander was a pre-Socratic philosopher who strived to observe and explain various aspects of the universe, with a special interest in its origins, claiming that nature, like human societies, is governed by laws. His contribution is noticeable in many disciplines. In astronomy, he worked on mechanics of celestial body. In geography, he created a map of the world. Anaximander was born in 610 BC and died at 64. He lived in Miletus, Ionia, modern Turkey for most of his life. But his last years he spent in Apollonia, on the Black Sea, today's Bulgaria, which became part of the first Persian Empire at the time. Because only a small portion of Anaximander's work survives, reconstructions of his philosophy and astronomy rely on summaries by later Greek writers. It is believed that he was the student of Thales and the teacher of Anaximenes and maybe Pythagoras. Anaximander's theories were influenced by Greek mythology, some ideas of Thales, and observations made by earlier civilizations in the Near East, particularly Babylon. All of these were rationally developed. In his search for a universal principle, he assumed the existence of cosmic order. Anaximander believed that living things evolved. Evaporation created the first creatures from the moist element. Man evolved from another animal, such as a fish, because man requires a long period of nurturing and would not have survived if he had always been what he is now. Anaximander also talked about the causes of weather phenomena like wind, rain, and lightning. Anaximander created the first mechanical model of the world. In his model, the Earth floats motionless in the infinite, unsupported by anything. It remains in the same place because of its indifference. It has the unusual shape of a cylinder with a height one-third of its diameter. Thanks to his knowledge of geometry, he introduced gnomon in Greece, a part of the sundial, and adjusted it to properly show solstices and equinoxes. Thank you for watching. Don't hesitate to comment below and share this video with your friends. See you in my next video.